So now we will discuss uh, how to make the item as a sales item. We would like to access this item in order management module. So whenever we are going to create an item in inventory, sometimes we'll not be able to get this item name in order management module. We are not able to retrieve that. Now we are going to discuss how to make the item as a sales item. So as usual, we are supposed to find out first which business unit you are trying to create a sales order and what are the inventories are associated with this business unit. Okay, so how we can find that is, uh, as usual, we will go for uh, setup and maintenance. In setup and maintenance, so uh, make sure that you have the permission to so set up and maintenance here. Let's log in here. The first checking is from the procurement also we can check which inventory it is associated. Another one is we can go to supply chain material management, go to inventory organization. Let's say we are going to work with 001 inventory. Manage inventory organizations and choose the inventory code as 001. search button will come to know this particular inventory organization is associated with the, uh, which business unit and that business unit is associated with which legal entity and with the ledger this is all we can find out so whatever the items you create in 001 inventory and you make those these items are sales items you can access those items in this BU when you try to create a sales order. Okay, so now I'm going to create one item now, sales item. Let's go to product management, product information management. Let me create a new item here. And make sure that the current user is having the permission to create the items in this master organization that how it happens through item class. So through item class, we'll be able to create an item. If you have the permission that you will be able to create. I'm not going to choose any built-in template. I'm going to do the setups manually. I'm going to choose the item name as uh, Volvo. OEM item. Item status is active. Life cycle phases also is active. Let's go to unit of measurement. I'm going to say that it is each. And go to specifications here. In specifications, first we'll set the inventory setups here. Inventory setups here. Make this item as inventory item. And item can be stocked. And transaction is enabled. Item can be reserved. This all. And let's go to, if you want to make this item as purchasing item, we'll choose it. Purchased as item. Purchased prices. We'll specify here. And go to sales and order management. Go to sales and order management. And I'm going to say that this item can be ordered by customer. Say yes. Customer can order this item. Customer orders are enabled here. And if you want to raise the invoice for this item, if you make only sales item, so that item can be created only sales order. We can go for booking, pick release, pick confirm. But we will not be able to raise the invoice because 
you have not enabled that item is invisible item. Invis enabled as yes. Okay. So there might be some items. Though some of the organizations they'll try to give uh, it's not for sale. They, they'll give that free of cost for testing point of view for some of the customers. That time they'll make those items as uh, invisible as no. Now I'm mentioning that it is invisible as yes. Web store, if you would like to make online sales, we can enable this item can be orderable on the web. And if you want to go for published, uh, then we can say that it is, it can be published here it is. So this is how we will make the item as sales item. And let's go to associations and go for assign this item to inventory organization. Go for close the item. Now we want to go for create sales order and make sure that this item is populated in our business unit. Let's go for navigator here. Order management. Let's go to supply chain execution. Order management. Order management option. Create order. And we'll choose the customer name here, Business World. And choose the business unit. Based on the business unit selection, will be getting the items here. So we got uh, order header information here. We, based on the customer, we'll get billing location and shipping location. And here we are supposed to search for item. This is our order management item, right? So this is how we can go for make the item as sales item and how this item is going to be available. Okay. I'm not getting the item price. This, this price details we are supposed to configure. For purchasing, it's very simple. So you will be mentioning the purchasing price, list price over there. It will be automatically populated, okay? But now it is uh, for item when we want to get this price details here, we are supposed to configure the pricing administration price list we have to configure that comes here. So this particular session is uh, basically how to make this item as uh, purchasing item, how to make this item as purchasing item. So that's the purpose of this particular item, the session. Thank you.